Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, a brand new day. Moving my mouse down into my taskbar and then lifting up the hamster that is sitting on my chair between my thighs. There is this boogle. She's a cute little boogle. And if you'll notice, she has a little tiny hole in her ear. How about that? She must have got bit or, or caught it on something. It's, it, it looks like, you know, you'd hook a little earring in there and then she'd be a pirate hamster. Except, of course, if in real life, if you put a ring in there, it's just going to rip out. I mean, it's not like fantasy where you'd see, you know, like an elf or a, a goblin or whatever with the big ears and then earrings up in the ends like that. They would just tear out on their own. Come on, Google. I am going to put you back in your cage. She is a good, oh, she wants to walk on the back of my hand. I don't know why. They all do now. But this, she's a cutie, even though I have to be very careful. All my other hamsters, I can just reach into the cage and grab the hamster while they're sleeping. And then, you know, they'll freak out if I do that, but they won't hurt me. If I do that, she'll bite me. So I have to very carefully wake her up. Here we go, little one. Thank you very, very much. She is a sweetheart, but she is a savage. Very, very savage. Oh, I don't know why I'm checking, make sure I'm centered. I'm not, it's okay though. But she's a good hamster and they're all, all my hamsters are getting old. She's, I don't know how old she is. She's a rescue. And Charlie, Harvey, Charvey, Harley, <laughs> well, however we do his name. I'm not quite sure yet, as you can tell, but he's a rescue and he's, he's still youngish. He's, he's very meaty and it's very, very good. But all my other hamsters are getting older. Bad Ears McGee, he's getting older. He's losing his fur on on his backside, so he's getting thin back there. Bobo, Bobo Jr., he doesn't run on his wheel anymore. No, when he gets up, he gets up and he goes over and he drinks and he looks for food and then he goes back to his nest. And he just stays in his nest and he eats and he sleeps and he goes out and he drinks and he eats then he goes back to his nest. That's what older hamsters do. They sleep a lot. That's what people do too. It's weird as well. That was something that uh, I'd read about that while my wife was dying about how as you get closer and closer to actual death, you begin to disengage with the world. And it's something that actually happens. You may not, you may go, no, I'm going to be doing this until the very day I die. But as you get closer to that time, the changes in your body caused by encroaching death make it so you don't care. You lose interest in those things and you just sleep more and you disengage until it's gets to the end. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, I did not want to... Uh, I've been trying to feel better. I mean, yesterday was a bad day mentally, but when I come across bad days, it's like with my depression and all these things, which is why I'm trying to make further changes in my life. Throughout my life, whenever I've come across problems, I mean, I've two ways. The major parts of my life I've always worked on with the path of least resistance. I am intensely conflict avoidant. I will find the path of least resistance out of any situation. That's what I've done my entire life. Problem is right now, I have path of least resistance my way into a situation where right now there is no path back out. I'm caught in a dead end where there is no path of least resistance. But, and this is what I'm going to try and remember for a uh, online friend who does shenanigans TV live, or I, it's early in the morning and I've medicated a trifle, so it's hard to remember, but he's got big, big problems on his channel. I'm going to have a link uh, somewhere. If you could go check out his channel, he's He's suffering from horrible depression as well, and his channel is having issues. Every time he uploads videos, he actually loses subscribers. Now, I went through a period like that myself, where I was stuck at, admitted I had more, like, well, I don't know if I had more or not, but I had 750 subscribers, and I was stuck there for like seven months, 
it didn't budge. Every time I picked up one, I lost two, and then it would stabilize again. But when you're stuck right there, you can't see the actual whole situation. All you can see is the dark trees around you. If you were able to have a satellite view of the, what the situation is, you'd be able to go, oh, if I just pushed Anon another day, I would have gone through that wall into the huge open area and things would have been good. But from down on the ground, on the battlefield, all you can see is the trees and the smoke and you can't find a way out. Same situation with my having path of least resistance myself here. Just because I can't find a path out doesn't mean there isn't one. That means there isn't one right now. There might be a huge opportunity that opens up tomorrow, which is another thing I've been talking, well not talking, well talking to myself about because I talk to myself as I go walking. It sort of discourages people from talking to you. That's not the reason I do it. I don't talk to myself like I'm doing now when I'm out walking, I sub-vocalized. But, oh God, can I remember now? It's with the, uh... oh, try and remember what the heck I was talking about. Not in a bad way here either. I've just stated, I've, I took a shower, I'm really tired. I used up a lot of spoons to take a shower and I've medicated. So on top of everything, it's, it's hard to remember stuff, but Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah, now I can't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, that's part and parcel with the depression, the fibro, and my brain damage, so thumbs up on that. But try and remember, what the heck was I even talking about? The bad position, yes, and then caught here. It's uh, just because I can't see myself, you know, with the way out doesn't mean it's not there. I just need to, I can't remember exactly where I was, but it's just because there's no path of least resistance out of it now doesn't mean there won't be. There may be, yes, now I remember, because it's every time, it's with the whole concept of doors opening and doors closing. Because yes, it is true, every time a door closes, another door opens. And every time a door opens, another door closes. Now, it's not a guarantee that a door that opens is going to be a better door than the one that is shut behind you. And in fact, it's highly likely that any door that opens up in front of you after a door is shut behind you won't even be anywhere near a good a door to enter as the one you just left. You may be going from, I'm happy and joyful to, well, I'm, I'm through this door now. But that is tied back with the satellite view of the whole situation. If you're walking into a deep, dark forest for years, maybe you're going to get fully just dreaded out and can't push anymore. And you reach the point where you said, I've been walking through this dark forest for years. I've been going forward and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm gonna turn around and go back. But a satellite view might show that at that point, you've gone two thirds of the way through the forest. And by pushing a little bit more, you're out. Which is my view on, I'm really rambling and you know, thumbs up for that. But it's my view too as well for, it ties into with YouTube channels. It's something I've told people in the comments and in email on various things. When it gets going, it's like when they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going and all that. But in this case, it is, um, I'd like to say, and I tell other people, and I tell myself this one, it's winners never quit and quitters never win. If you want to do something, if you stop before you get there, then you will never get there, ever. You stopped. But if you keep going, it might seem like you're going forever and doing nothing. You're beating your head against a wall. But that next day might be the time that you banged your head on the wall just enough that it works now. Not your head, but the whole situation. It may be that feeling like you're just going ahead into absolutely nothing and ruination and you should quit while you're ahead. But if you do, you'll, you'll definitely never win. Whereas if you keep going, you might not win, but you might. 
you're at least in the running. Whereas if you quit, the race is over. So if you quit, that's it. Yeah, there'll be another door that opens, and that's why you should go see Shenanigans TV Live. He needs help. He's got depression issues. His whole situation at home is not gone good. His own depression has damaged his life, and he needs as much help as he can get. If you can go check out his channel, it's links down there. Hopefully I've got a link up here, like an end thing or something, somehow. If you could go check out his channel, that would be good. He's going through a really bad mental time, and if you could get any sort of help at all, that would be a good thing. I hope it would be anyway. He's been really feeling bad, and I feel bad about that because I, I'm, I'm, I'm a caregiver. I discovered that I am a caregiver when in 1989, when I needed a job, I got a job as a nurse's aide, and I had never done healthcare work before, ever. That was 1989. I was just a few years out of the Air Force where I had worked customer service in at, uh, the travel department in finance. And so a few years after that, I needed a job. I got a job as a nurse's aide and discovered that that was what did it for me, helping other people. It opened up doors ahead of me that I had never even known that, that, that existed. Every time you open up a door, other doors open, other doors close. It shut off a whole parts of other parts of my life, but it opened up all those healthcare doors, and I spent the next 15 years working in healthcare. I broke my back working in healthcare. I've injured myself quite badly. I've got numb spots back on my back here between my shoulder blades. That means there's spinal damage way up high because the higher damage there is in your body, the higher it is on your neck and in your spine. So I'm damaged way up here as well as all the way down. I broke my back. I damaged myself so badly I can't even... It. I'm in agony unless I take opiates and cannabis and yay. But you know what? Given the chance, I'd do it again because I'm a caregiver. And I, I have no shame in saying that. The only problem that any caregiver has, and it's a big, big thing, is we take care of others long before we take care of ourselves. That's why I'm broken. I don't know that I could have avoided all the damage. I've got scoliosis, my spinal, I mean, you know, my whole spine is a mess at some point. It looks like people took blocks and then just sort of stacked them up roughly and loosely, and that's my spine instead of a nice column, so yay. But hell, I'd do it again. In fact, I miss working in healthcare now. So, hey, hey, what do you say? <laughs> Man, there was a lot of things I wanted to talk about and instead I've gone on about this stuff. Like, well, not a lot of things. Actually, I, one of the things I wanted to do was just to show, well, part of it is, I'm gonna talk about this one. I was sent this Huion, I, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Huion 420 tablet to play Os, Osu on. I don't know how much these cost, but it's, it's unusable on my system. If I have the pen and I put it on the tablet and I move it, if I lift the surface of the pen off the tablet, then immediately the cursor on the screen zips up to some weird place. So then I've got to put the pen back down and then drag it back over to where I need to work. And you can't do that in the middle of a game of Oz or anything. If I lift the pen up, the cursor just goes, whoo, and I've done everything that everybody has told me to do in the middle of the game. You know, turn off raw input to do this. And the drivers for this thing are very, very minimalistic. You can't really do much other than assign you know, a few soft keys to it and adjust what the keys on the pen do. Past that, you can't adjust anything. And it's un, it's un, I can't even draw. Because if I lift up the, the stylus, then whoop, the cursor goes flying off into some weird direction. And then of course you can't put it back down and then drag it over because then there's a big black line across your, your painting. So yay. I mean, I'm very, very thankful 
I'm very, very thankful that somebody tried to help me enough that they sent me this. I don't know if it's the Crater's update. I don't know if it's Windows 10. I don't know what, but it's, it is unusable. There, there's no way. Thank you so much for trying. I do appreciate that. I just wish it worked on my system. It makes me sad because I even wanted to draw with it. I wanted to start doing doodling, but I can't, I can't draw with it. I lift up the stylus and boom. And it's a predetermined place. It's not that lifting up the cursor and it's following it and then shooting it off in the direction. No, I lift it up off the, off the tablet and it goes over to a predetermined weird spot on the screen and then stays there. Every single time the tablet comes up, whoop, it's right to that spot. So yay. Now what I'm going to do, because I forgot to do it, of course, is I'm opening up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab because I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people for having left me comments. Now, I'm not going to read the comments right now. I am just going to thank people for having left a comment. I'm going to read the comments afterward. I'm going to thumbs up everyone I read. I'm going to answer as many as I can. And so, but right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Now, whether it is a good comment, a bad comment, a different comment, whether you're saying you're a wonderful human being, thank you for making videos, or you are a human cancer, why aren't you dead yet, or you are a human being, this is a video. Thank you for having left a comment. That's what's important. So thumbs up on that. Now we're going to go with, I have just the DPI in my mouse, Matthew Collins, thank you very, very much. Sane One, greatly appreciated. Emma Morrissey, thank you very, very much. Aiden Crone, greatly appreciated. Freak Nizzle 49, heck of a name, thank you very, very much. Nikki Watkins, greatly appreciated. Porno Arcade, heck of a name, thank you very, very much. Rebecca H, greatly appreciated. Grand Wizard, thank you very, very much. Mika Mod 5, thank you very, very much for continuing to be in the comment section. It is greatly appreciated. Maddie was epic. Well, that's a good thing to be. Thank you very much. Amber Green, greatly appreciated. Mag F16, thank you very, very much. Aiden Trevino, greatly appreciated. Conspo Lopez, thank you very, very much. It's always good to see you in the comments. Brad's hair. <laughs> Heck of a thing. Thank you very much. And Trevon Lockley, thank you very, very much. Matt Tomitz, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Hugo Rodriguez, greatly appreciated. Chloe Lambert, thank you very, very much. Shenanigans TV Live, okay, I got it backwards. My sincere apologies. Devin Connor, thank you very, very much. Corrupt Obsidian, my excuse is I'm very tired and lightly medicated. Thank you very, very much. The King 301, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Fire Gods. Hello, thank you very, very much. Each and every one of you has stated to get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that's a wonderful thing. Thank you very, very much. If you could check out my links down below, that would be awesome. Greatly appreciated. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign to become one of these beautiful and awesome Patreon.com patrons, that would be very, very cool. Unfortunately, I need as much financial aid as I can get. I can't afford to live here, and I've tried talking with my housemates, and it's just not going anywhere. So if I could get any help, that would be awesome. But... If you do not donate or you cannot donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Just like it says here, it is okay to accept happiness into your life. You just have to make the decision. It doesn't matter if happiness follows. What's important is you've made the decision to accept happiness in your life. Whether or not happiness comes is a separate matter. Where the heck was I? Anyway, though, <laughs> if you could subscribe to the channel, that too would be cool. I'd greatly appreciate it. I would appreciate that very, very much. I use the word appreciate way too much, but my personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. So if you don't want to subscribe or you don't like my videos, that's okay. I understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. My time, anyway. Thumbs up on that. I'm going to have a ration video on the channel. I'm going to have a game video on the channel. Hopefully, I'm going to have a game video for the game channel. I'm going to. I'm working on a schedule so I can start streaming at least once a week. So that's a very, very good thing. 
gosh, I've got like 15 seconds left. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So remember, out there is a bus with your name on it. And it wants nothing more than to grind you into dust beneath its wheels. Avoid that bus.